Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show a few basic functions of the playable Real Tracks feature in the notation window. We do have some videos that shows this feature in the piano roll, and we recommend watching that as well. We'll have links for them in the description. So I loaded up my song here, and I added a fiddle Real Track to one of the utility tracks. So to get to the notation, you first need to be in the Views tab at, up top here, then click on Notation here. And here I already have my fiddle selected in the Mixer window, so it also shows here, and this is the notation that it plays. And right now I'm not in Editable Notation mode, so we first need to enable that, and that's this button right here. And once it's enabled, you'll see these vertical lines in the notation, and this shows the spots where you can enter notes. So for example, let's say I don't like this first bar that the fiddle reel track plays, and I want to remove it completely and add my own notes. So we go up to the PRT button here, that stands for the playable reel tracks, Click it, and in the menu, select Enable Playable Real Tracks. And you'll see here this message asking for you to use the High Q Instrument Patch, and you just click OK on this message. And now you'll see a green outline on the PRT button, and that means the Playable Real Track feature is enabled. So we'll click it again. And then select Make a Mute Region to Mute Real Tracks. And this brings up this window. It will show um, uh, the number of bars and beats where you want to start the mute region, and then the bar and beat and tick that you want the mute region to end. So I want it on bar one. Beat one, so that's correct, and ending just at the beginning of uh, bar two. So the second box is correct as well. Then I'll click OK. And now this green bar shows above my uh, first measure here, and that represents that there is a mute region. So the next time I click the Generate and Play button, these notes here will disappear. Okay, so now I can enter in whatever notes I'd like into this first bar, and they will be MIDI notes uh, from the high Q instrument. So if I just enter something quickly, how about, uh, let's drag that down. So it starts on a D. Um, how about an F sharp? Yeah, something like that for my intro. And then this is what it sounds like. Now, for example, let's say I like the notes that are playing in the second bar, but I just want to add a note. So let's first click and drag across the second bar to highlight it. And then go back to the PRT button. And in the menu, we want to select Make Notes in Selected Area Playable RT Notes. And this brings up uh, the menu again, so that way you can confirm the starting and end point of where you want the uh, notes to be playable. Then click OK. And let's click undo for that, because that was an accidental note. There we go. So now these notes are green. So that means they are playable. And 
let's say this is the A here. That's the same as the open A string on the violin. Let's do just another open D underneath it. Or actually, even... How about an open E? Let's see how that sounds. And then we click play. Hmm, I don't like that as much. Let's undo. And let's add in, add in that open D that I was thinking of earlier. Uh, that was an E. Let's click and drag. There we go. And let's hear it again. Yeah, that sounds much better. So those are the basic features of using the playable real tracks in the notation window. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section.